purification is cleansing, purifying, silencing, transforming, so that you can experience that shift. Cleansing. What do we clean the mind from? We talked about it. The vices that are underlying in the dark corners of our mind and which raise their heads sometimes and bother us. These vices need to be cleansed every day. We all take time to clean our body, don't we? We take a shower in the morning and in the night. We brush our teeth, right? Every day we floss so that we keep it clean. What are we doing to clean our minds, my dear friends? Do we take time to clean our minds? It is such an important component of our life, in fact, the driving force of our life, but yet we don't take time to clean that mind. And meditation, true meditation, is a process of taking the time for self-reflection, self-awareness, and self-regulation to clean the mind from these vices on a day-to-day -day basis. I take two hours every day, one hour in the morning, or at least half an hour in the evening, to work on my mind, to reflect on my thoughts, on my emotions, on my way, and understand where am I, where do I need to get better, where do I clean, so that it gets purified. Now the beauty of this purification process is that we enter a state of stillness. The true outcome of meditation is that stillness. We all have that stillness. I'm sure some of you have probably experienced that even for a fraction of a moment in that exercise of hugging the real man. A few moments of stillness. And that stillness is that sense of self, devoid of all the emotions, devoid of all the impressions, devoid of all the experiences, where you're simply observing moment to moment observation. And in this process, in this process, there is a transformation of who we are and a shift. Even if you are able to practice that for five minutes every day, you will see that shift of who you were before and who you are after. And this has been such a powerful way to help youth and people who are going through different types of mental illness to be able to connect them back with the sense of self because most of these illnesses people have lost themselves literally they have lost them. 